All right, so I'm going to turn them back on polygons. And what we're going to do now is skin this object out. Now, notice that these are separate objects, so we're going to work on them separately. Okay, so first off, let's pick the root bone. Pick the mesh. Make sure nothing is on the mesh at all. I mean, we're talking like absolutely clean. In the hierarchy, I shouldn't see any of these things. Okay, edit, delete by type history, should get rid of them. And if not, you can click and drag off of this. So middle mouse button, click and drag anywhere. Should get rid of these groups. Get rid of any outside groups. So it should have just meshes. These meshes need to be named conventionally. Okay. So, in here I got wing right bottom, okay, on this side, Wing uh, right top. And the same here. Okay, so we got left and right top, left and right bottom. And then we got the body. There we go. Now, keep in mind all the bones have to be named too. But we'll get we'll get going on this. Uh that's something that can happen after the fact. I'll show you why that's important. Uh, early on though so so body and then grab the joint hold shift grab joint one and then we're gonna go into animation mode then go skin bind skin smooth bind square box max number of influences I'm gonna switch this to three this is the max vertice that one bone can control at any one time so like this vertice right here here's an example this vertice right here it can only be on this bone and two other bones near it but it's going to be judged upon the first bone this will this will help weighing down the character later on so let's just apply it and I'll explain as we go Okay, so we're going to do that to the wings too, separately. So I'm going to grab the root bone, then grab the wing, and apply. Root bone, wing, apply. Root bone. Wing, apply. And then root bone, wing, apply. So there we go. So what have we done? We have created a monster, that's what. So now I can basically take this wing and raise it up in the air and up raises the wing, except for the one vertice. This one, same thing probably. Yep. Which is fine. That's totally expected. This should move correctly. All these others should move pretty good, correlating to free uh, the three influence that I put in there. Yep, good. So you can play around with this and kind of get the feel for it a little bit, but make sure you undo every time. 
don't rotate something and then don't undo it. Good. Everything looks very nice. And a lot of that has to do with the edge loop placement, the, the placement of the bone near the edge loop, all that good stuff comes into play. Alright, now that we've skinned the character, now we have to weigh the character. And that's in the next video.